Hello, my name is Justin Patterson. I'm with QTE Manufacturing Solutions. And today I'd like to show you a quick tip on how to rename the machine control definition in the post processor uh, inside of Mastercam. Uh, there is a proper way to do this uh, that will not give you any issues. Uh, renaming it through actual file explorer is not uh, the correct way. It could, it could lead to issues down the road. So this is the easy, the the proper way and the easy way, it's extremely simple to do. So for this example, I just threw a generic Haas three axis mill. I actually do not need to pull this up. I just wanted to show you. Um, I'm just gonna change this. The reasons you might wanna change the name is you might wanna call it specific to a specific machine. Um, you might wanna name it uh, something because it's another location, or you just wanna put your company name to it. There's a bunch of reasons you might want to, but this is the easy way. Uh, there is a utility that we use to do this, and I'm going to show you how to add this utility to your tabs up here. But first thing we got to do is we're going to we're going to launch it without having that option, and that's going to be if you go to the home tab, we're going to go in here to run add-in because this utility is actually a C hook. The run add-in is how we get to all our C hooks, so we're going to go here, and inside of our C hook, it's right here. It's called mdcdpstrename.dll machine definition control definition post renaming. C hook. Okay, so we're going to hit open, hit OK there, and as you can see, this it doesn't bring up the one I have active here. I just it I just wanted to show you this, but this is where we're going to select what we want. We can filter based on what kind of machine definition we want. Do we want a milling machine definition, a router machine definition, a lathe, and a wire? Which one are we looking for? So we're looking for a mill. So go find the one we're wanting to rename. In this case, I already have a copy here just to show you. Um, this is, was already in there, I never cleaned it up, but I'm gonna grab this generic Haas three axis mill MMD. Okay, well it loads everything I want right here. Okay, so default out of the box, when you do this, this is set to override this one right here. So you would no longer have a generic Haas three axis mill, you'd have whatever you rename it to. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here to our configurations straight off the bat. And make sure that this is enabled. Preserve the original files, renamed ones are copied. So whatever we put here, we'll just create a new one and this will still exist. So for this case, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna name this QTE, just like that. That way we know where it's at, okay? And then I'm gonna go in there and highlight this one, Control C or right click copy, whichever one you do. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna paste, one, paste it there. And then for the post processor, you need to double click on this one. See, I just do a double click, do a control V to paste it and hit enter. That locks it in. So now I'm saying I want all of these to be renamed to this. And again, by having this checked, I want you to make a copy. So go ahead and hit the, the plus button. It says that these were successfully updated. And there we go. We can green check out of this. And now you can see if I go in here to my sh machine, and remember this already exists in my list right here. So I'm gonna remove it just so you'll see it's still there. See, there's a generic cost, three axis mill. It did not, and there's the copy that's still there. It does not affect that. So if I come down here, here's that now newly named machine control definition in post. Okay, and as you can see, if I go into the properties, it renames it, it doesn't change the name here, but it is all named throughout all the file structure inside inside of your file explorer. See, it created me a QT Haas PST file, and it also creates me a, if I can get down to it, right here, if I can get to it, there it is, creates me a machine and control definition. So this is the proper way to rename a post processor. Uh, how we can add this, I like to add this to my machine tab right here, put it over here. If you come up here in the white area and you right click and say customize the ribbon, um, I want to go to the machine tab, which I'm at, and I'm going to create a new group, which this is called a group. It's a new group. I don't ever name it. You can. You can name it post rename, whatever you would like, right? There you go. And then in the list, we want to be the commands not in the ribbon and scroll down to the machine. It's called machine definition, control definition, and post renaming tool. So go ahead and add that to that tab green check 
and there it is. So now anytime you want to have access to that, you can this way. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call.